Hey guys, so today we're looking at firmware upgrades on the Mini 2. Let's check it out. Okay, so we have two methods of upgrading the Mini 2 today. Firstly, we can upgrade through the DJI Go Fly app using your smartphone. Secondly, we're going to have a look at using the DJI Assist 2 software on your PC or Mac. Both can be a little bit buggy if I'm being honest. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off having a look on your smartphone, try the over the air upgrade if it's available on my Mini 2. If not, we'll go through the process on how to carry that out yourselves. Then we'll have a look at finding that magic firmware upgrade button on the DJI Assist 2 software. Okay, so we're going to have a go at upgrading over the air with a phone then. So if we open up the DJI Fly app, and we've got the drone on at the moment. So you can see it did briefly pop up saying that there was a software update and then it pings across. So this is the problem we're going through the mobile phone route is it, if it works fine, happy days, no issues at all. When it doesn't work, it's really hard to find out how to get this update on there. And I found it very, very glitchy. So the way using the DJI Assist 2 app that I'm going to show you a bit later on on the computer definitely is the way to go. But anyway, so if we're on the phone, we can still force the upgrade. So if we go to profile and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to go into settings so up here then you can see that we've got check for firmware updates and check for fly safe database updates your fly safe should update every time there is a software um, issued but if it's not then you can go in this route and do it but let's go through straight away so let's check the fly safe while we're here so the firmware is up to date on the fly safe and we're going to check the version of the firmware on the actual drone so it says it's up to date, but I know that that pinged up saying that there's an update. And this is the issue. It tells you that you've got a software update, but you haven't. But it may well be with the actual controller rather than the drone itself. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how we actually upgrade the software on the DJI Mini 2 using the DJI Assist 2 software. So the first thing we need to do is actually make sure we've got the correct software. There are so many different versions that's available. If we pop into Edge, now the link to this website is going to be in the description on this channel. So just head to the description and you're going to see this link here. It's really important that for the Mini 2, you need the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. And we're going to download that for Windows. And it will download. And then you'll go through the installation process. Now, I've already got this installed. So we're going to see this icon here on the desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the software up. So we can see the software has opened up now and we've got no DJI Mini at the moment. So it's asking us to connect it up to USB. So using the USB-C cable that comes with your drone, just start your drone up. Within 10 seconds, you need to be plugging this USB-C cable into your drone, otherwise this will not connect. So after a few seconds, we should see the DJI Mini 2 pop up in this box here, which we have. And we click on that and that should take us into our drone. So you can see from here, the only options we're getting is the log export and the DJI assistance log. So this is the problem with this software is DJI like to hide the option of actually doing a firmware upgrade. Now I'm going to show you a little trick how we get around that. So if, you're, if you've got firmware upgrade, you can skip this section. All right. So what we're going to do, click back on there and we're going to close the software back down. Now I'd advise you to turn your drone back off again because it's going to need to reconnect. So we'll turn the drone back off. So you've got your software installed. We've got no firmware upgrade button at all. Really easy to get this back. All we need to do is go into your file explorer. Now you may have this in different places. Like I said, this is a Windows 11. So you've just got to locate your file explorer. Come into file explorer and you're going to go to this PC and we're going to locate your C drive. Once we're in the C drive, it's really important that we're going into the program files and we've got in brackets x86. So we're going to go into there. And we're going to look for DJI product and go back in. OK, so on the options on this channel here, we've got the DJI engine. That's what we're looking for today. We pop into there. Now you're going to have a load of stuff in here. But what we are looking for is default settings. There it is there. Default settings. This might be slightly different named. I've seen on the older computers, sometimes you've got a few extra letters after this, but you will still have default settings. And we're going to open that up and we should get something that looks like this. Now, this is really, really simple. 
all we need to do is change all of these zeros to a one. Okay, now we've changed all those to a one, it's really important you don't just click the X, you need to make sure you save the file. Now, if you're working on a computer that's got administrator rights, you may have to allow as an administrator for this, but this one's fine. And we're gonna click save, and that's that. So we're gonna close out of there and go straight back to the desktop and power back up our DJI Assist 2. And again, we're gonna turn the drone back on. Within 10 seconds, plug your USB-C back into the drone, and hopefully it should connect. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna go back into our Mini 2, just like we did before, and we should see the magic firmware button. There it is. For that, you can just go ahead and confirm the log there. We don't need to worry about saving that. So, going through the software then. So you're gonna have a couple of options on here. You're gonna either have a firmware upgrade if you've got the software available. If not, you've got the opportunity there to do a refresh of the software. So if we go in here with my drone at the moment, it's gonna check the firmware on the actual drone and it's gonna tell us if there's an update. So at the moment, I'm on version 10540s. There's no update available for it, but I have got the refresh. You can have a look through the release note and that'll give you a little bit of information towards it. Now this is exactly the same for the remote. So the issue I had was the drone would come up saying it had a software update on the phone, but it did all the upgrades on the phone over the air like I've shown you, but it still was coming up with the same error and actually turned out it's the remote control that needed the software upgrade. And that's using it the same system that we're doing now, but instead of plugging the drone in, we're plugging the controller in itself. So what I can do on the drone is I can go through and refresh the software. So let's do that. Okay, so the drone is all updated now. So what you're gonna do is don't panic. Your drone is gonna power off. Um, don't think that your drone is bricked in any way. The most you might do is it may connect in. This one isn't, it's not going back in. So what you need to do is to power off the drone and come back in again. Okay, restart the drone, reconnect, with exactly the same procedure we did before, and hopefully we should see connection. And we see our Mini 2 again. So connect back into the Mini 2. And again, you can go in, if you did have a firmware upgrade to do, you could go in and check to make sure the software has gone on properly. But we can go back in, it should say the same version, so all we've done is refresh the software on this one. So you can see there, it still gives me the refresh, the software is exactly the same, but the procedure, if you did have an upgrade, is exactly the same. Now, on some of these, I've seen that you get older versions of software, so you can actually downgrade the software. Um, on my one, I don't know if it's because I'm in the UK, I don't know if the software is a bit later now that I can't do it. While we're here, we've got the software open. Why don't we go through and make sure that the software is correct on the controller itself? If you've got this open, it seems a bit daft not to go through and check the controller while we're there. And it's gonna be the exact same procedure. So I would suggest click the back arrow, leave your DJI system open, and then disconnect your drone, connect in the controller the exact same way as your drone, and go through the same procedure. Okay, so now we can see that we've got our remote control, so DJI remote control N1. We're gonna click on that exactly the same we do with the drone. And we should get the same options. So you can see, this is the software version on the controller itself. This should be relating directly to the software that's on your drone. If you have got a different software on here, you need to make sure you upgrade it. But you can see the only option we've got here is to go through the refresh exactly the same as we've just done on the drone. So let's do it. Okay, so exactly the same. Your controller should have powered off. Let's see if it's gonna auto connect unlike the drone did. No, it's not. So it's gonna be the same procedure again. Oh, there it goes. Actually, it has also connected. So that's one little benefit compared to the drone. It does reconnect. It doesn't make you panic thinking you bricked it. So go back in, exactly the same with the drone. Just check to make sure your software on this one realistically has stayed the same, which it has. And that's how we do the software update. So I find this a lot easier than the actual over the air app because that seemed too buggy to me. And that's it. And that's how we do the software updates using the DJI Assist 2 software on your PC.
Okay, so you've seen both of the options we have available to us to upgrade the DJI firmware. Personally, I prefer the DJI Assist 2 software just for the fact that we can go through and refresh the software as well, and we can go through and upgrade the software on the controller. Hope you found this useful. If you've liked what you've seen today, guys, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really does go towards helping to support this channel. If you've got any comments that you'd like to make, leave them in the comments box below. Any ideas for future videos that you want me to see, just let me know and I'll try them out for you.